Paul, I'll start with you, man. Arsenal are dominant, pretty much wire to wire, right? They were the first half, particularly, they were absolutely fantastic. They played fast football. They were going through the lines. Their passing was incredible. One and two touched. Napoli could not live with them. It, it was just, it was unfortunate they only, only could get the two goals because it's, it's still slightly open, this mm. game. But if they bring it, uh, as they did tonight, they'll, they'll get through. It's quite remarkable with this, A, with the team selection, and B, with the, the different performance from the Everton game at the weekend compared to tonight, it's unrecognisable, this side. Why are they so up and down? Yeah. That's, that's my concern. This game should, should be dead and buried. If it was four or five, we'd still be saying, that's about right. Mm. You know, Ramsey comes in, scores a fantastic goal, missed the sitter in the second half. But um, it, it was an encouraging performance. But having said that, uh, I thought Napoli were extremely poor. You mentioned it during the match. How mad are you that Ramsey's not coming back? <laughs> well, we've been banging the drum on this program for a long, long time. How, how he wasn't re-signed, uh, you know, 18 months ago, two, uh, two years ago, it, it's quite remarkable. And they're going to have to spend big to try and replace this guy because at the present moment, this is, this is a sign of the true professional that this guy is. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's going to Juventus, but he's still putting a shift in. And that's very, very important. He, he's, a, he's an extremely, uh, you know, good top box-to-box -box player. Sure, if you're the Arsenal board, you're looking around. How many players on this team are actually better than an Aaron Ramsey? None. <laughs> you know, he's, he's he's actually their main their main player in the middle of the park now, as far as getting forward and, and contributing, scoring goals uh, and connecting. So when that's walking out the door, yeah, for free a, too, for, for free, free for is free. an absolute disaster. Mm. However, it's only two 0 yeah. and as great as Arsenal are at home, yeah. they're as bad away from home. Yeah. And if I'm Napoli. I'm, I'm thanking my lucky stars we only lost by two. But I also know that we can beat this team yeah. by two at least at home. So Napoli absolutely will, will, will be thanking the lucky stars, as I said, that they're still in this game. Lacazette, Aubameyang, Ozil all in the starting lineup. Unai Emery definitely went for it. Fair shot? Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. And, and given how poor Ars Arsenal have been away from home, I think they've got two wins in all competitions since, since the end of November, and that against Huddersfield and Blackpool. You understand that if you, if you are going to go through, you feel you have to get the job done and, and give yourself a, a, a good lead to defend uh, here in the first leg. And, and I, thought, I, I thought you saw that from Unai Emery in, in the team that he put out, um, a, a team that, that dominated Napoli and maybe should have had his poor says four or five. Is this a home lineup only, or do you think Emery can take this on the road, Shaka? Well, and that's a challenge. And from from an Arsenal perspective, as we've all been saying, Arsenal have been so inconsistent, so good at home, and yet still so poor on the road. And there's no real logical explanation as to exactly why that is. Do I think he's going to go with with two up front uh, from? From, from the opening whistle against Napoli with a lead to defend, given how poor they've been? No, I don't think so. You've seen Unai Emery swapping between Lacazette and, and Obama Yang, either one starting, coming off the bench and, and changing things up as needed. I, I don't expect it to be as adventurous, to, certainly not to start, but certainly have everybody on the bench and, and, and available. Whether Ozil is, is, is a player used from the start, away from home as well, is, is another question um, uh, Unai Emery has to answer. There's I'm not, I'm not so sure he is. There's a question we were, we were asking when we were watching the game. The coach decided to take off Lacazette, mm -hmm. Torreira and Ozil. Now, if you'd have left them on the field, we'll never know the answer to this question. Mm. If you would have left them on the field, because they were rolling, they were still playing very, very well, could they have got that third goal? Could they have got that fourth goal with those players that were playing extreme? That unit was p performing very, very well. And he changes it. And, and we know, we've been in that position. Mm. You change the rhythm of the team because the players, the, it takes them a little while to get up to speed. And, and, and Napoli did come in and have a couple of chances. So Unai Emery sometimes has got that to let should, these guys go. That, that, that tells you all you need to know, what their problem is away from home. You know, he's... He's sat there thinking, you know what, 2-0, I'll take 2-0 to go away in Napoli. Mm. If he'd been thinking, if we can get three and keep these players on the field, then, then you can maybe kill the tie. So, you know, he goes into defensive mode. Yep. That puts his players in a defensive mode. They, try, they sit back and they're not that great at the back, so they, so they lose goals away from home. That, every single thing you saw today when they were 2-0 up, him making the changes tells you exactly where his head at and where the problem is.
on the other side of this thing, post-match, uh, Ancelotti has come out and he said he's totally confident uh, heading back to Naples. What well, he's seen that away from home, hasn't he? Well, <laughs> you would be. But based on what we saw today, I mean, I, I, would, I would think it's very difficult for anybody associated with Napoli to be confident going back. They were played off the park. Yeah, but it's... It, I don't know if Arsenal were that good or were Napoli that bad. Look, Will, the, the, the whole point of, the, of tonight was to put this game to bed. They had an opportunity at home to really kill this game off. A two -nil, I don't care where you're going. A 2 0 in a European tie, this is not over. For more, sign up now for ESPN Plus.